Next up in our room tour, we are going to show you another balcony cabin, but this one is slightly different as it is an accessible cabin. Let's take a look. Next up for our solo cruisers, this is the studio cabin on board the Norwegian Prima. We're going to elevate your status a little bit on this cabin tour. Now we're going to see the forward facing club balcony suite. We're going to lift you a little bit higher in status and we are now facing another suite. This is another forward facing aft suite with a master bedroom and an extended large balcony. Let's go look. Okay, we're now in another balcony, but that's just like ours, but just a little bit different because our balcony is for two people. This one is the family balcony, and what makes it different is that this right here folds out into a complete full-size bed. Watch how easy this is. How cool is that? Most people want to fold out bed like that in their house. <laughs> it's a bit firm, but I think two people could sleep very comfortably on here. Next up in our tour of all the cabins, we are in an ocean view cabin. Scary seeing her get stuck. <laughs> That's the fun part. All right, so okay. Addie's gonna be can a daredevil. You, can you imagine just go down and like that seat. No, you need to get stuck. Up <laughs> <laughs> it. Inside, inside, inside. Yeah. The things I do. Are we current on our insurance? Am I gonna be good if you don't come back? We're, we're all good. Is bottom clear? Are you sure with this? Let's do it anyway. <laughs> How was it? it? It was great, but I got to do it again. Now that I've survived the drop slide and got the scariest one out of the way, I'm about to do the rush. The rush slides are two sides that are side by side, so if you and a friend want to race to the bottom, this is where you do it. They are both dry slides, since me being in regular clothes. You do not have to be in a swimsuit to go on these slides. But you gotta have... You do have to have close toe shoes. And if you're wearing a GoPro or something like that, it has to be on a wristband or a chest brace. It cannot be a, a selfie stick or on your head. Let's go have fun. Ready for this one. All right. Okay, we're gonna wait for this one because this one is faster. This one is just slow. <laughs>
I'm not gonna get stuck, am I? No, okay. no. <laughs> In this one, you can easily sit down and have a drink. Like, that's how slow it's going. It's, oh, wow. Oh, my God, are you gonna go down? <laughs> but this one is better, gotcha. much better. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna wait for the train. <sighs> is it faster if I lay down? Oh, uh, you need to lay down. Because you're gonna bump your head. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> But you're gonna have to push yourself. <laughs> go. Okay. Just wait. Now. You're now I go. go. Yeah. Woo! Bye! Push, push, push. Woo! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> and that's why I don't do them. <laughs> So I convinced Terry that this slide is no joke. So he has to do it too because it is so fun. Oh, look at there. They ran out. Right. Nope. They're going to get you more. They've got plenty of them. They've got plenty. No, they run out. I can't do it. There's a whole part. <laughs> they will get you one. You ready? Stay ready. <laughs> I don't have to get ready because I stay ready. Oh, okay. Is that how it works? That's how it works. You got to stay ready. You don't get ready. You stay ready. Okay. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ah! Woo! <laughs> We're now next to one of the other fun areas up here on deck 17, and it is tea time. This is the very interactive and different way to play mini golf. One of the, the thing with the tea time is it's interactive, so not only do you have to answer questions on the game and actually try to get the, the whole the golf club in the hole, but it's interactive, so you can either win or lose. Not only do you have to try to get the golf ball in the hole on the tee time, but it was interactive, like I said, so it asks you trick questions, like true-false questions or timed questions, but even has one with a photo booth where you get to take silly pictures. It's truly a different way to mini golf. Also up here next to tea time is called the bullseye. These are all different areas that you can reserve with a group of friends for I want to say about 40 bucks, but you get a couple of about 45 minutes to play, you guessed it, darts. We are at the Prima Speedway Bar where they have all the classic cocktails that you could possibly want to drink here. Um, all the cocktails are pretty much the same as most of the other bars are on the ship, but this is what you get yeah, here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Show this how it works. is the special souvenir cup and it expands. And it's like the tires from the go kart. It's actually kind of squishy. So, this special, let me squish it right. This special cup is an extra $15 for your souvenir cup, but it's definitely worth it because this is refillable. <laughs> and it's close to the drop and all the fun things. Yes, it's so. up here on deck 17, right next to the stadium where all the fun things are. So you got the go-karts, you got the slides, you got the ping pong, you got the beer pong, all the fun things. We're standing here with Mr. Peter Grant. He's the Vice President of Entertainment Operations, operations for Norwegian Cruise Lines. And he's responsible for a lot of the stuff that you're seeing on board. Could you tell us a little bit more about what made Prima special and the things that you really brought to the table for guests? Well, the thing that makes Prima special is that there's been a lot of firsts. Right. And there's been a lot of things that we've done that we've heard back from the guests that we've implemented. Like earlier today when Simon talked about the racetrack and right, right. all that feedback that came back from that, we modified this racetrack to meet a lot of those demands from the guests. Going faster, um, having less turns, all of those little longer tracks and so going outside around the ship, that's great. Um, as far as my, my what I was uh, brought to the table here was uh, Simon builds this 
Right. I get to operate it. You get to run it. <laughs> so, 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 so that's great. Right. But then in the theater, um, working alongside with our senior vice president of entertainment operations, Richard, uh, I was able to bring to the table the game shows that we're doing in the theater yes, now. Yes, so, Price is Right. Uh, then we have uh, Supermarket Sweep. We also have um, Press Your Luck. Really? Uh, that's coming up later on. Oh. Um, so those are so so those are coming um, uh, to a ship near you. A ship near you. <laughs> so um, so right now we're in the planning stages of those uh, to roll them out on the other ships. But we have a lot of great things that we do. So my responsibilities are mostly in the theater. Okay. And then when we go into the secondary lounges like improv and or. Um, uh, Sid Normans, then those two lounges also fall in this in area. So we provide music um, around the ship, um, right. whether whether you hear it in the background or what you're hearing live in the ship. That's all we we do. Take care of that in the entertainment area as well. So, but the thing about the Prima, it's been the number of firsts. Yes, and just, yes, the and, uh, The elegance of the ship, which is. Beautiful, amazing. I mean, if I may say so, without sounding biased, <laughs> without sounding biased, it is fantastic. Yes, you know, the, the layout of the ship, and it's something just very different. I, I, I like to watch the guests when they come on for the first time, and they walk into deck six, and the, the look on their faces. Yeah. The lobby is not like your traditional no, it's cruise not. ship at all. lobby, <laughs> and at so all. I love to watch that reaction when they first come on board as well. So, but it's been great. Thank it's you. Been great. So when you come on board and you're enjoying all the things, all the fun things, all the great things about the Norwegian Prima and soon the Viva that's coming. You yes. heard a couple of tips. This gentleman is here to make sure that you have an ex great time. exciting time. Thank you for giving us the time to tell you're us welcome. a little bit about what's going on. And we're going to get back to some more of the fun things. Enjoy it. All right. <laughs> what's up, everybody? So we are about to start on our cocktail adventure on board Norwegian Prima. I'm gonna try to go to all the bars or at least as many bars as I possibly can. But we're gonna go ahead and get things started off right here on deck six. We are in the Penrose Atrium, which is absolutely spectacular. This is the very first thing that you're gonna see when you board the Norwegian Prima and they have done an excellent job. But you're not here for that. You're here to find out what kind of bars they have on board the ship. We're going to try and do as many as I possibly can before, well, somebody has to come and get me. We'll try a different cocktail at each one, if possible. Tell you what our thoughts are, or at least let you see where you can come hang out, have a good time, especially with that free at sea program. All right, so I'm getting ready to try something completely different. I didn't even know you could do cocktails on tap, but we're going to try not one, but two of them. I'm going to go in here and try the smoked peach margarita, and you're going to try the... The red bubbles. And uh, we'll let you... <laughs> we'll see what this experience is like, and then we'll get let back into know. the regular cocktail, so... <laughs> So the very first bar, like we said, when you come on board, deck six to the Penrose Atrium, of course, it's the Penrose Bar. This bar also serves a dual role. Not only is it for the atrium guests, it's also the bar for the casino. Yep. So like we said earlier, we got a smoked peach margarita, or at least I got a smoked peach got margarita, a smoked peach. and you got the red bubbles. The red bubbles. So inside of Adrian's cocktail. It's got a Voisa Ultra Premium Organic Vodka, strawberry, guava, cranberry, fresh lemon, prosecco, and lavender bitters. And inside the uh, smoked peach margarita. Smoked peach margarita has 1800 reposado, gracias a Dios mezcal, ooh, that's where you're gonna get the smoky flavor, fresh lime, triple sec, peach puree, organic agave, and hibiscus salt, ooh. Now going back to your cocktail with the uh, vodka in it, there's something really special about the vodka that we learned. The vodka on board, the creator of the vodka is also responsible for building the racetrack upstairs. Yeah, he helped build the go-karts. And he's got vodka. And you'll notice when you see the bottle, it'll actually have a the car print on the bottle. And the same symbol is on the go-karts outside too, so that's so cool. But just so you know, when you get on board, there's a little tip. Look for it. But uh, right now, Cheers. Bar one. Bar one. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen by the end of the night. The bar will have the, the bar wine. will win. <laughs> it 
So we're continuing our cocktail journey on deck six. This time we are at the Belvedere Bar. You're going to find the Belvedere Bar again on deck six, right next to the Commodore room. It is right after you pass through uh, the casino and you've got two different ways to get here. Uh, right of the Commodore room or left of Cagney. So we're going to see what kind of libations they have at this bar. And uh, here's another one. Bourbon base, gin base, and tequila base. <laughs> All right, so we got the All About Basil. We got the Supremo. That is going to be which which spirit? Well, it's actually the All About Basil. It's gin, chambord, and basil. Okay. Fresh lime. And this one uh, with haha sustainable tequila comes with passion fruit liquor, pineapple, and fresh lime. Uh -huh. And the last one will be good for the van is bourbon, wild turkey 101, fresh honey rosemary ginger syrup, and fresh lemon juice. So you guys make these every day? Yes, every day fresh. Wow. Look at that perfect pour. Right. We'll do a half for of course. So once you enjoy it, we can do the thing at the rest. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so we've gone from cocktails untapped to bottled cocktails. So like little perfume bottles. These are so cute. But like he said earlier, these cocktails are made fresh every single day. They're putting these cute little bottles and um, we're gonna see what they're all about. See if it's worth your time. I'm pretty sure it will be. Okay, you got the bourbon mint. It smells amazing. And I got the supremo. She just likes saying it. I do like saying it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I like the ha, ha We gotta look for that tequila over here. What? Oh, you just drinking it because you like to drink it. <laughs> You're not saying anything. You just I was keep wondering saying a whole lot. How long it was gonna take her to catch on? <laughs> it's the name brand of the tequila is called Ha Ha. Ah. It's spelled J A J A, but it's pronounced Ha Ha. Can I see a bottle of your? Ha -ha? <laughs> Since we gotta get some. So this is really what good. she's talking about. <laughs> this is just the second bar in the second cocktail. Hey. It's gonna be a long night. All right, so we just finished bar number two down at the Belvedere bar. Those bottle cocktails were surprisingly really, really good. I definitely suggest that you go try that when you're on board in Norwegian Prima. Now we've made it up to deck eight. One of my favorite bars, hopefully, will become this one. This is the whiskey bar. They've got every type of whiskey cocktail that you can think of and then some. So they actually have some bottle cocktails that we were told by our good friend Jason downstairs that we should try and put a battle between who's got the best. So let's go see what's going on. So we wound up at the third bar. Time for a whiskey cocktail from the whiskey bar. What are you gonna have? I am going to be adventurous and actually order a whiskey cocktail because it was recommended by the last bartender we were just <laughs> Another bottle cocktail. It's another one of the pre-made bottle cocktails and he said that he's guaranteeing me that I will like it. So I'm going to try what's called the spiked whiskey. It wasn't a spiked whiskey. 1792 whiskey for a small batch bourbon. Let me get it right. Grapefruit juice, lemon juice, a rosemary syrup, and water. I'm thinking the key ingredient is the water. All right. The spiked whiskey. And the Bliss Boulevardier. You heard what he just ordered. So, a Boulevardier is the whiskey or bourbon variation of a Negroni. So it's a Negroni with bourbon, basically. Uh, this particular one that they're making here at this bar is gonna be Wild Turkey Bourbon Whiskey Campari and Chisano Sweet Remove. So you don't necessarily have to have gin whenever you have a Negroni. And most people, when they try them, they're like, mm -hmm. because the Campari is a really bitter uh, component to the cocktail. So a lot of people kind of get turned off by that. Uh, it's one of those drinks that you have to drink 
a few times and get your taste buds. Yeah. But if you don't like gin, uh, then you just get the bourbon or whiskey variation, which is the Boulevardier, which is what I'm getting ready to try. Uh, this is going to be a quick cocktail uh, because we got to get ready for the show tonight. And then we're going to finish up and we're going to do some more. And if we don't get to all of them today, so we're going to try to get to as many of them as we can. But so far, cocktails is doing pretty nice. Spiked whiskey. It smells very grapefruity. Do you actually like it? I actually like this. I don't taste bourbon or whiskey. Wow. How's your cup of bitterness? <laughs> Not bitter? It's a sweet bitterness. It's not bad. I mean, I love Negronis. But you definitely get that kick um, from the Campari and the cocktail. It's very, it's honey and, and rosemary. Tastes like a lemon cough drop. It is, yeah. Ricorda! <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I was trying to pick out the flavor. It tastes like a lemon cough drop. Very. Without the menthol. Actually, in that particular cocktail, the honey is a little overpowering because I can't taste the spirit. Like That's literally all I taste is honey. Which is probably why I like it. <laughs> So we are on our way to see Donna a Summer, the musical. Thank you to D Peter Grant, VP of Entertainment. I'm your friend, I'm your lover, I'm your sister, my dear brother. Well, we So we're about to have dinner at the Commodore Room. It's one of the complimentary main dining rooms on board. There's Hudson's upstairs on deck seven and then downstairs on deck six, we're in the Commodore Room. Okay, so Norwegian has completely revamped their menus for the main dining room. What they have done, instead of having a different menu every single night, what they have done for both the Commodore Room and for Hudson's upstairs is done one major menu with so many options on it. So you can pick from the same menu anytime, any day, and get something different your whole cruise. What they've done, so both Hudson's and both the Commodore Room have the exact same menu, but there's so many options on it that you can pick whatever you want every time. So, I'm gonna look it over. Terry's gonna show you what, he, what the menu looks like, and we'll go from there. So last night in Hudson's, I had the spare ribs, I had the um, honey glazed pork chops, and I had some sweet potato fries. But tonight, I'm thinking I may try the mini crab cakes just to see what they're working with. I'm not quite sure I want to do a soup or a salad, but if I do, it's going to be the New England clam chowder. And I'm torn between the fisherman's platter and just getting a grilled New York strip uh, medium rare. So you'll see when we get to it. So our first appetizer has come. I ordered the New England clam chowder that both Terry and I were debating on. And the bread came, which is really, really good. Um, it's typical New England clam chowder. It had a big pile of bacon on top, as you guys could see. 
It's got big chunks of potato, a whole mouthful of bacon. So I could just be tasting the bacon right now, and I love bacon. But no, the soup itself is really creamy. It's got a big chunks of potato. It's not fishy, if you know what I mean, because clam chowder can tend to smell fishy and taste fishy. None of that. You just get good ocean flavor and creaminess. Delicious. First off, Jazz, is this good? Does this look like a crab cake? Is this acceptable? Am I going to get my coofness back? <laughs> I need to know before I bite into this. Just let me know. Okay, uh, I thought they were gonna be a little smaller sitting on this room a lot. I know, but they look pretty good. So let's give it a try. All right now, I still gotta show Jazz. Look in there. Do you, is this approved? Okay, so I ordered the, rotis the herb roasted rotisserie chicken. I did not expect it to be <laughs> this <not> chicken. <laughs> It is a half chicken with two new broccoli florets and I'm hoping that the mashed potatoes are under the chicken because it's supposed to come with mashed potatoes but I don't see no mashed potatoes. So, to tackle this, I'm going to go for oh, our mashed potatoes Nope, they didn't give me my mashed potatoes, y'all. It's really tender. And it's served with a pan gravy. Auntie in the back cooking, y'all. You know how chicken be tasting when they, they cook the baked chicken at church? And they fix you a plate after the repast. That's what this tastes like. I'm teeing it back cooking the chicken, y'all. I'm mad. I gotta give me some mashed potatoes, though. <laughs> All right, so I got the short rib with the asparagus. It looks amazing. And I got an order of mac and cheese. I decided to go there tonight. Not bad, but. I like the crab cake better. Dinner tonight was amazing as usual. We usually don't expect things to be bad with Norwegian. That's why it's one of our favorites. But this dinner tonight on Prima, we couldn't even finish it because it was so good. The portions are ginormous, as you saw. I got a whole half of chicken. This mac and cheese, super cheesy. Absolutely delicious. So Terry couldn't even finish his short rib job. That's how much it was. So we're going to decompress a little and try to walk back to our rooms and not roll <laughs> and see what else we get into tonight. But dinner tonight and the Commodore room an A plus. All right, we've made it to bar number four on deck seven right next to the humidor it's the metropolitan bar this is one of the bars that we had to drink by last night where we had some amazing cocktails but i think this time i'm just gonna get a quick little something something adrian's gonna get a cocktail and then we're gonna go smoke a cigar well i'm gonna smoke a cigar she's yeah, not cigar. so <laughs> let's see what this bar is about all right Nice to meet you guys. I'm the Chocolate Cowboy. Welcome to the Norwegian Prima. We are in the Metropolitan Sail and Sustain Bar. I'm waiting for yes, you guys sir. to come and visit and try our beautiful, sustainable cocktails. And we're taking care of the art. Peace and love on the Chocolate Cowboy with love. Chocolate Cowboy. Chocolate Cowboy. The Metropolitan Bar is all about uh, sustainability as well yeah. as really good drinks. So, yeah. this iPad is your menu and it gives you a rundown of all the different drinks as and as to why they are sustainable. From the culinary director on board, that a lot of the ingredients, including the rum, the Florida Cana rum, is all made sustainable. So they reuse a lot of things like in this drink. They reuse the coffee grounds from other parts of the ship. 
over here. They reuse the croissants that are baked on the ship. And the... My grandpa, I gave you one of my... The watermelon twist, they use the rinds from the buffet where they'd cut up all the fruit. They use the rinds to make the cordials for this drink. So everything is being reused and repurposed and brought to life again to, to help sustainability. How cool is that? Abortes. Aborza. One of the best vodka in the world. You're going to love it. We call it Aborza. Aborza. So presenting to you in the Metropolitan Bar across San Maita and a Borsa ginger ale, one of the best vodka in the world for you ladies. Enjoy it. You want some? How good is this? So we've gotten our cocktails, or at least I've got my cocktail, and I'm about to do the thing that you know me best for. I'm about to go into the Humidor Cigar Lounge here on board the Norwegian Prima. A lot of you don't know that there are only a few ships left that actually have cigar humidors on board, and Norwegian is one. And you gotta let us know down in the comments below who the next brand is. Well, let me tell you what the 